Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football uh, post-game show. Well, it was a Baltimore beatdown tonight in Los Angeles at LA Memorial Coliseum as the Baltimore Ravens blew out the LA Rams 45-6 tonight at LA Memorial Coliseum, as I just said, in Los Angeles, California. The Ravens just had this game in their hand right from the start, and they just dominated this game tonight. Uh, no doubt. Lamar Jackson and that Ravens, Ravens have five takeaways in this game tonight. Uh, takeaways from the Rams in this game tonight. And Lamar Jackson scored five touchdowns in this game tonight. Uh, as for the Rams, things just uh, did not go their way. And it was not a good night for uh, the Rams uh, team, to say the least. The Rams had just two field goals in the game tonight. And they struggled offensively and defensively by far. And the Ravens pinned Goff and, and company into a dismal corner tonight. And Goff was picked off twice. And uh, the defense just uh, did not get anything right. They just could not do anything right tonight. And, uh, I mean, they they were trying to they, – they want – Rams want so bad to really beat the Ravens tonight. But the Ravens just had their number tonight. And uh, – <clears throat> And they were up uh, 21 to 6. At, actually, 21 to 3 at halftime, excuse me. And then in the third quarter, it was 21 to 6. But then they went up 28 to 6. And, I mean, the Ravens just could not battle back in this one. They just, struck, they just had one of those games where Baltimore just had their number and just blew them out. And just the Ravens were, it was a Baltimore beatdown and and they just overwhelmed the this Rams team tonight by far and so uh, uh, it was just not a good night for the for the Rams but for the Ravens uh, they as I said Lamar Jackson scored, scored had five touchdown passes in this game and the Ravens had five takeaways in this game and they uh, picked off golf uh, twice and he got sacked three times in this game and I know the uh, the Rams had a few turnovers in this game as well tonight, and, and that's what did them in. And I mean, you could, they could point the fingers at anybody, but they the Ravens had him just uh, pinned in a dismal corner by far tonight in this game, and uh, they just were just it was not by far it's just not the Ravens the Rams night tonight. It was. Uh, and you just got to give credit to where credit is due. You just got to tip your hat to the Ravens because they they just dominated this game. They had uh, – it, it just was the Ravens' night right from the start. I mean, and they just never let up. So right now I have got some game balls I want to give out. Starting with Lamar Jackson's uh, uh, eight, uh, eight receptions. Uh, I said eight. Carries rushing, 15 of 20 carries and attempts, 169 yards, 95 yards rushing, five touchdowns, no interception. Robert Griffin the third, who got some uh, some uh, playing time tonight, one of three carries and attempts, 39 yards. Mark Ingram Jr., 15 carries, 111 yards, one touchdown. Marquise Brown, five uh, receptions, 42 yards, uh, two touchdowns. Willie Sneed, uh, two receptions, 14. Uh, yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Miles uh, Boykin, two uh, uh, receptions, 54 yards. Mark Andrews, uh, two uh, two uh, receptions, 45 yards. I see two carries, 45 yards, excuse me. And Gus Edwards, 14 carries and 55 yards. Eight game balls tonight on uh, this post game show tonight. It's the most I've ever had in one. Now, uh, I want to be sure that you tune in for my special Thanksgiving Day edition of Scott Sports 101. And I'll be calling that Scott Sports 101 NFL Thanksgiving Day edition. Uh, NFL Thursday Thanksgiving Day edition. Turkey Day edition as well. I'll be calling it that. And uh, we have three great games coming up that day. The, uh, uh, the uh, Chicago Bears. We'll be playing the uh, 
Detroit Lions at Ford Field in Detroit. And then I'll be at 12.30. And uh, the uh, Buffalo Bills will be playing the Dallas Cowboys at at t Stadium in Dallas, Texas, Big D. And the uh, New Orleans Saints, and then I'll be at 4.30 for Dallas and Buffalo. And the New Orleans Saints will be playing the uh, Atlanta Falcons at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. I took it in. I'll be at 8.20 on Fox and NFL Network. And then uh, the Browns play the Steelers on Sunday. And uh, the, uh, the Vikings and Seahawks will be the Monday night game. They'll be essentially filling Seattle. And we have a good Sunday night matchup for you. I just, and, that, and I'll let you know that on Sunday what I'll do because I just can't remember it right now. Uh, but uh, we got some great matchups coming up for you this week. And, uh, and uh, I've added another new wrinkle to this. You, say, you know I've added my Browns report card in, but I'm also going to add, uh, before I do that, my new wrinkle, and I'm going to do uh, my brother-in-law and I both picked Baltimore one and they won tonight. So we were tied at 10-4 and four on our picks this week, and I go to 3-4-5, and five, and my brother-in-law, Eric Coyle, goes to 4-3-5. and five. So, so uh, it was a tie, but he still is leading me in the picks right now. He's got his records four three and five. I'm three four and five. So, uh, so week thirteen will be coming up. And uh, now I'll introduce my new rank. I'm going to get my Scott Sports One Hundred One NFL Player of the Week. I'm going to throw in. And uh, this uh, this week, I mean, this was a tough week to really. I needed to look thoroughly into all this because uh, Baker Mayfield was almost perfect in yesterday's Browns game. And. Uh, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo had a big night with the 49ers last night. But this one, Lamar Jackson has really shown his stuff. So my player of the week, I have to give it to tonight's uh, to Ravens quarterback, Lamar Jackson. He is my NFL football player of the week this week. So actually, I'm, I'm going to give it to him. And I am also going to give it to Baker Mayfield this week, to Browns quarterback. So, my NFL players of the week, Lamar Jackson, Ravens quarterback, and Baker Mayfield, Browns quarterback. So, players of the week this week. So, I just wanted to just throw that at you. Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 uh, uh, Monday Night Football postgame show. I'll be back with Scott Sports 101 uh, NFL uh, Thursday uh, Thanksgiving Day uh, football edition, which will be the uh, uh, early game uh, pregame show. As I'll preview uh, the uh, uh, Bears Lions game and all three games, I'll preview them all. So uh, until then, always remember be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.